Hi everyone, so today I have a quick little video for you and it's going to be all about the subject of contour and not just contouring but contouring for pale skin. So obviously that is a category that I fall under and it really is hard to find a good coloured contour. I feel like the reason that it took me so long to master perfect contouring is mainly down to the fact that there aren't that many good shades for pale skins and especially the products that get talked a lot about and hyped up as being amazing amazing contours don't really work for people like me. Over my contour travels though I feel like I found a lot of products that I love and really work for me so I thought I would share those with you today. So I'm going to start with something that has launched quite recently or been relaunched and it's the Kevin Aquan Sculpting Powder. Now this is a bit of a cult product when it comes to contouring. I feel like this really started the whole everyday contouring trends. It used to come in just one shade which was medium and they have actually just relaunched it in three new shades or there's now three all together so there's a light, a medium and a dark. I had to have such a light hand when it came to using the original medium one. I couldn't always pull it off, sometimes it made my skin look a bit muddy and I think that's the thing that always happens with pale skin and contouring is that you can just look a bit dirty. Whereas this is a lot lighter but it still has that really beautiful undertone of a very cool toned almost greyish brown. So this is such a great one if you're into a powder contour. The actual formula of this is super pigmented and it blends so beautifully. It's such a finely milled powder that it feels just effortless to blend in. So this is just a kind of a foolproof one I think now that they've made it lighter and definitely the best powder contour out there I think for paler skins. So I'm going to move on to a cream product now and this one is from Illamasqua. I feel like I've had the most success in the past with cream contours and this is the Cream Pigment in Hollow and this is kind of a multi-use product so you can pretty much put it wherever you want to on your face. I love this for contouring. Again it's just a very pale very kind of ashy tone sort of taupe. The actual formula of this is really nice. It's a very pigmented type cream but it's not anything like a cream blusher where it can be quite glossy. It almost kind of fades away into a matte finish but it's not a cream to powder either so it's kind of an interesting one. I like to kind of just put this onto my finger and then just do a swipe and blend it out with a synthetic blending brush and it just gives a really natural looking contour. The great thing about this one too is that it lasts for a really long time. If I kind of touch my face or if I'm sort of being a bit thoughtless about moving around my makeup then a lot of the time my cheek products can kind of just get worn off and I end up with a little pale patch just about here whereas this kind of just seems to stand the test of time it doesn't rub off and it really stays on the skin so it's a good one if you're wearing it for a long time I also like to take this all around my face and it really just blends in seamlessly with foundation so if you're using a creamy foundation and then this on top everything is just gonna look super blended and just really perfect and like it was supposed to be there so this is a great one if you're after a cream contour so also from Illamasqua I have a second one and this is their powder eyeshadow in heroin I put this down to Nikki tutorials because I was watching her contour routine and she used this and it looked amazing so I picked one up for myself. It's a very very similar shade to hollow. They're definitely along the same lines of being very ashy which is perfect for a contour but this one is just slightly slightly deeper which I do like because you can get a bit more of an intense contour out of it. So this one is definitely my kind of evening out really dramatic glam contour and I feel like I can get a really really strong contour with this so really intense cheekbones and also down the nose too this one works really nicely it's sort of slimming everything down a little bit. Even though it is a lot more intense and very very pigmented I still feel like I can't go wrong with this. I can't really put too much on. I think it's more down to the colour just being light enough and pale enough for my skin that it can never look over over the top. I'm sure I could put absolutely loads of this on and it would look ridiculous but so far I haven't managed to mess it up so I really really like this one from Illamasqua as well. So onto a more budget drugstore option and I've only included this one because I feel like contouring is still something that the drugstore hasn't yet managed to master as well as a lot of the other higher end brands and when they do do a good contour at the drugstore they always tend to be a lot darker than I would like and just don't really work for my skin and that is just the age old complaint that I have with drugstore products. They always are tailored to kind of a more medium to dark skin tone and never for people with really really fair skin. However this one I do really like it's from L'Oreal it's the infallible sculpt contouring palette. Now this is actually a two-in-one so you have the darker contour shade and then also a highlighter. For me it's the contour that really stands out in this palette. First of all it's a beautiful formula this is definitely a cream to powder type formula so if you like those this is going to be perfect for you. Although it looks quite dark in the pan translates beautifully onto fairer skin it's very 
very sheer. So again, you can't really go wrong with this. You can't put too much on. And I can really sit there and build and build upon this one. So I can start with a little bit and put more and more on and just kind of get the desired look that I want. And the color is perfect for a slightly warmer contour. So if you're someone that likes to sort of bronze and contour at the same time, so using it under your cheekbone, but also taking it on your forehead, down the nose, onto your neck, this is great. I really, really like that. I think this is a great kind of all in one product. So you've got your highlight, you've got your bronzer and your contour in there too. So it's a great little palette. So the last contour in my top five that I have to show you is actually one that I've been using for so, so many years. And I'm just not realizing that I've been using it as a contour product. And this is an eyeshadow from MAC. This is actually Omega. I actually bought this to use in my brows, but this is such a kind of light taupey shade. There is no warmth in this whatsoever. It almost kind of borders on the side of being a little bit gray. And it just makes for such an amazing shadow under your cheekbone. So if you don't like any warmth whatsoever in your contour, and if you have very, very fair skin, so if you're really on the very fair side of pale, then this is just gonna be perfect. It's so light and it's almost like a kind of natural shadow. You can't really see that you're wearing this when you have it on. This one is great for down the nose too. If you don't like to have too strong a nose contour, but you wanna just slim things out a little bit, this one works perfectly there. It's also probably one that a few people already have in their collection because it's quite a well-known MAC eyeshadow color. So if you do have this and you've never tried it as a contour, definitely go and crack it out and give it a go. It's just the perfect one to do a super subtle contour with and great for pale skins as well. So those are my top five favorite contours for pale skins. I hope you enjoyed that and that was a little bit informative for you. If you have fair skin as well and you have a contour that you love that I forgot to mention, please let me know. And that's it for me. I'm gonna be doing a few more in this sort of top five series. I always find it really interesting to hear people's kind of ultimate top five products. So let me know if there's any other categories you'd like me to do this in. I'm definitely gonna do a top five foundations and I might do top five lipsticks. So give me some ideas below in the comments as well. Thank you all so much for watching and I will see you all soon. Bye.